What is up, everybody? Alex from WMD here, back at you again, and this time we're going to talk about some drums. So I have my Crater here. I have my Kraken here. And um, we know Crater as a kick drum. We know Kraken as a snare drum. Today, I'm going to switch their roles. So we're going to use Kraken to create more of an analog-sounding snare. You know, Kraken's a really good realistic-sounding snare. has that kind of digital, almost sample quality to it. Um... But when it comes to making like an 808 style, like analog snare, that's definitely not its strength. That's not what it was designed to do. Um, Crater, on the other hand, was designed to be a analog kick drum. And it had a few things, has a few extras to let it um, go all the way to like toms as well as snares. So there's a noise circuit inside of Crater that we put in there to kind of mimic sympathetic vibrations in the room. So kind of like the snare rattling when you hit the kick drum. But you can use this when you use a higher pitch to make a cool sounding snare drum. It sounds a little bit more analog and we can get into that space tom thing too. So we'll get all up into that. And then with the Kraken, um, we extended those shell parameters, you know, like way beyond just snare territory. And you can go really low, so we can kind of create a cool kick drum. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to jump into Fracture and Chimera as well. We'll make some cool clickety-clackety claps and um, and textures here. So I'll show you some tricks that I like to use to make like uh, cool little pitter-patter textures. And then Chimera will make some more like hi hatty kind of sounds out of it. So let's just dive into it. All right, so first let's start by making a kick drum. Let's do it out of Kraken. I'm gonna clear out my Metron here. Go to Kraken, take the output there, and we'll just put in channel one of Metron into the head input on Kraken. And for right now we'll just do a four on the floor and let's get it to where we can hear it, right? We are not on channel one, so here we go. All right, so let's go to snare territory first, right? All right, there's your snare. Sounds super realistic. If we take this shell parameter all the way down, we get into this real big drum territory. And then we can take the snares, take those all the way down. They don't completely disappear. They're always there, but that's all right. Right now, we're gonna take the overtone all the way down decay to somewhere that's nice and we're going to put tunes both all the way down and then find a good tune that we like. So let's turn decay up. You can hear that boom boom right there. Ooh, that's nice. That's a good kick. All right, cool. And now if we have these model switches over here, you know, we're gonna get real crunchy, real gross. Or the rec switches, excuse me. And then the model switch, you know, that's all about the noise. So I'm gonna leave this one on digital noise right now. And yeah, we're still getting quite a bit of that snare noise. So I'm just gonna run this through a low pass filter. I'm gonna go through here, run this through carbon. What does it sound like now? Oh, we're in band pass mode. Let's go to low pass mode. Oh wait, no, we're going out of the low pass output. We're good. So there's our sound. Just low pass it a little bit. We don't need to do a ton. Bring some of that overtone back and see where we can go. There we go, that's not a bad kick. So we'll dial that in a little bit more, but let's do a snare with crack with a crater now. So I'm going to just take output number two of Metron. We'll do two and four for now. And I've already got it kind of set up. Let's go through a kick real quick so we can hear what it should sound like with a kick drum or like as a kick drum, right? Pretty good kick. Add a little click. There we go. 
So that's that's it sounding like a kick drum, right? It's pretty pretty dope kick. But let's make it sound more like a snare. So we're gonna turn the pitch up. We're gonna turn the pitch decay and amount all the way down for now. And then turn the click decay all the way up so we get some of that noise going. We can choose the click timbre. I think that sounds pretty good. We'll turn the level down just a little bit. Turn that decay down. There we go. Boom. Snare drum. So we can add a little bit of pitch decay if we want to. And if you want to get into that space tom territory, you just take the decay or the the click decay down, turn your decay up a little bit, and give it a little bit of pitch envelope like that. Maybe something like that. Lower or shorter, I mean. So yeah. Turn that decay back up on the click decay. Turn those back down. Now I've got more of a snare kind of thing. Give it a little bit. Now let's hear it with our cracking kick drum. Hear, hear what this sounds like. What do we got, right? <laughs> uh. Definitely sounds a little different, you know? Gonna turn that that snare drum a little snare drum down a little bit. Turn the crater up. I mean that's kind of a cool sounding like hip hop kick drum with that crater. All right, all right, I'm into this. Let's do like something more like. Ooh, that's cool. Now let's have those claps on the two and four. Just need another cable to go into Fracture here. Oh. Getting super uh, analog sounding with that snare drum. Now we're gonna add some ticks to Fracture. So here's that pitter patter I was talking about. I'm just gonna run 16th notes across, except for the two and fours. All right, so now listen to what I do when I turn spread down. Nice and straight. We can find the surface we like. Right, now we turn spread up. <laughs> and now you've got some cool pitched pitter patter. Spread basically just takes each sample and assigns a uh, pseudo random pitch to it. What's rad is that it kind of repeats. So now we'll add some little bursts maybe. All right, that sounds pretty good. So one thing we can do with this guy too is we can change those surfaces with CV. So we're gonna do that. Just do it with Volterra. I'm just literally gonna record knob movement. Sounds pretty good. Let's hear it with the rest of our drums. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna add some reverb on this fracture, give it a little bit of blast. So this is channel number two on Volterra. Check this out, this is something I love about Volterra. So we're gonna do a Volterra and fracture. So we're just gonna do two and four first. So we'll do like big, small. That's a little bit big, right? Oh, it's this one, my bad. Uh. And that reverb will affect the ticks as well. So one thing I like doing a lot with this guy is take off the ticks, right? Turn this one way down. So we hear like no reverb, right? I need to make sure it still hits though. There we go. No reverb. 
No reverb at the end there, right? So check this out. We're going to put reverb on uh, uh, two steps afterwards. And then we're going to turn it back down on step one. Uh. Maybe give it a little bit like right here. Oh, check out that texture. So dope. Now with the rest of the drums. Here we go. So uh, I'm also going to add a little bit of resonance and see what this does. Oh, that's on our kick. Let's turn that down. All right, so that's kind of taken over, right? Really, really hiding every all that texture in our kick, right? So let's let's put an envelope on this to fix that. So instead of just going straight into Kraken, I'm going to use this Molt cable. And I'm going to run that out. Take that into Kraken. Now I'm going to run that into Javelin. We're going to take Javelin's envelope out. Run that into the pitch envelope on Carbon here. Let's get this guy set up here. All right, there we go, we can see it now. Let's tune that up a little bit. There we go. Maybe too much FM there. Let's listen to that kick. Oh man, that sounds pretty sick. For a module that's supposed to be a snare drum, it sounds pretty rad as a kick. Here's our snare. This is supposed to be a kick, right? Sounds pretty much like a uh, 80s oscillator and noise combo snare to me. And then fracture is just fracture, man. All right, so we got a little bit more time. Let's do Chimera here. I'm just gonna run this guy. I'm just gonna run 16th notes into it. And we're on channel five now. Gotta turn that channel up. So let's add some bursts to this guy. All right, so now we're gonna make this pattern four bars long and we're just gonna stop everything on four so we get nice little, uh. <laughs> Oh man, that's so cool with that reverb. Like, I love that about Fracture. Ready, here it goes. All right, cool. All right, now let's just add, let's add some envelopes, uh, modulation to Camara. So we're gonna go out of Volterra into Decay. We're gonna clear this guy. And then again, we're just gonna record the voltage, uh, the output with this knob here. So just do some knob recording. Now let's do some Crucible. So Crucible is like a digital model of a ride symbol. It can get crashy. I think we're gonna stick ridey with it for now. So number six, we're just gonna add one bar here. So let's just go over here, one bar. 
and just quarter notes. Alright, and now my favorite thing to do with Crucible is to choke it on the offbeats. So check this out. We're just gonna run a trigger from Metron. We're gonna go into the choke input. So that's number seven. We're gonna put 100% gates and we're just gonna put on the offbeats. We're gonna make that one bar. Let's listen to it. Gotta make that one a 100% gate. There we go. There you go. So we can even like really like let the decay go out. Sorry, wrong module. Oh man, alarm clock, ready? I put it in the wrong spot, but here it goes. All right, so that four, we need to choke it a little bit earlier. So yeah, we need a duplicate pattern like that one. So we're just gonna do duplicate track, pattern length, duplicate track, pattern length. We're gonna choke this one right here. There we go. All right, so that's it. Hope that gives you some ideas of how to use our drums in your own system. Get a little bit creative, use them for something you may not think that they're meant to be used for. And um, yeah, hope, hope that gives you some ideas. As always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And um, until next time, we will see you later. Peace.